everybody and welcome to uh, another Dacman Productions video. In this video, we will be reviewing the new Lionel Conrail Wi-Fi camera app Caboose. And here is the instruction booklet. So this is what we're going to be reviewing. But also, I'm probably going to make this a combination of a review and how-to video as well. Um... So, for those of you who already bought these Wi-Fi camera videos, you might want to stay tuned. Um, I have seen complaints with the first one of these things that uh, the video quality was kind of low. So, uh, kind of find out, you can change the video quality settings within this caboose. Uh, it comes from a factory with um, video quality of 320. And you can actually change the setting as high as 1080. Uh, so, for those who don't know that, might want to stay tuned for the video. And I'll explain how to change the settings and everything else. But first, let's move on to the caboose itself. The caboose itself is uh, standard out. It is scale. Uh, comes with a Wi-Fi camera, uh, as I mentioned. It does not have smoke like uh, prior line L cabooses because they could not fit a smoke unit and the uh, Wi-Fi camera in the same caboose. The, uh, there is a switch on the bottom to turn lights off or on if, in case you wanted to leave it set on the tracks. Um, the Conrail version caboose that line L did, you'll notice it's Conrail quality. Conrail actually did have one Conrail quality caboose, and that is the correct road number for it. Um, also, MTH made that same caboose in Premier, and Atlas also did a version of the Conrail quality caboose. Now, besides the on-off switch for the lights, there is a also a switch labeled on-off for the camera under the uh, car. Um, there is also a reset button next to that camera as well in case you got to do a reset on the Wi-Fi camera. That's just a special note. Um, the switch varies in locations on whether you have a caboose or station sounds or whatever the um, whatever you have a Wi-Fi camera and overline our product. Now, before you get started setting up, uh, you might want to pull out your instruction booklet. And uh, it's kind of vague, but it, it tells you how to start things up and so forth and so on. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, actually download the app from the Google Play Store. If you decide that you'd rather use uh, your laptop instead of a smart device, Lionel did provide a mini CD disc to load up onto your laptop. As long as your laptop is Wi-Fi capable, you can use your laptop instead of a smart device such as a iPhone, Android, or iPad, or Android tablet. I just wanted to mention that. Then the next thing you'll want to do is go to your Play Store. So when you get into the Google Play Store, this is the app you're looking for. Um, so the Lionel Wi-Fi camera, that's what you type in, and this should come up with that icon. Go ahead and install that. Now, it should download into your cell phone as a little, uh, icon there. And that's what it's going to look like. The next thing you want to do is turn your power on before you even get started opening the app. Alright, so I turned the power on. Um... So the next thing is, you have to, uh, well that, if you decide that you want to use, uh, and I'm going to use an Android phone, it should work the same for an Android tablet. I'm not familiar with iPads or iPhones because I don't like Apple products, sorry. So this is all going to be done with Android devices. So the next thing it's going to ask you is to open up your Wi-Fi settings on your Android device. So here is your Android phone. Uh, there's an icon that says settings. It's right there. Let's go into settings. 
and then you're going to go into the connections and then you're going to go into your Wi-Fi and then you'll notice the CN74AC number uh, all the according to the booklet now all the Lionel Wi-Fi cabooses will have this network number that starts with a C letters CN all right, so when you connect to this for the first time, um, it's going to ask you to change the password. The factory default password is 888-888. Um, you can set it for uh, whatever numbers you want, but it will ask you for a password change. Also, the first time you connect to it, if you have security on your phone, it's going to ask you if you trust this uh, Wi-Fi. Of course, you're going to say yes. Do you want to use VPN service? Don't worry about that. Just uh, use regular Wi-Fi. So we're going to connect to this Wi-Fi. And like I said, the CM letters are um, what all Lionel, the, uh, these Lionel Wi-Fi Caboose's uh, network numbers started. At least when I'm reading a book. So we're going to go ahead and connect to it. Now my, my, um, here we go. Why is it not going? There we go. Alright, so now it's connecting. <clears throat> now it's going to come up with a note on there. Internet may not be available. Well, yes, that's going to happen. Because you cannot connect to the caboose and the internet at the same time. So once you connect to the caboose, you will not have your um, Wi-Fi on your your home Wi-Fi available on your phone. You can only connect to one or the other. So right now I'm connected to the caboose uh, camera, and it's giving me a warning: internet may not be available. The internet does not work through the caboose, so you will not have. I won't have internet availability right now, which I don't care. So if you want to run a uh, separate phone or a separate iPad or Android uh, tablet or something like that, that you're not connecting to the internet, that's fine as well. It's just a pain in the butt because once I'm done with the uh, with the caboose, i got to remember to hit the setting to go back to my home Wi-Fi. All right, so we are connected. So let's get out of here. All right, next I'm going to uh, tap on that line out Wi-Fi. That little icon right there in the corner. And here's what comes up. Now you'll see it says logging in. So if you're, uh, while we're waiting for this thing to log in, if you're first time logging in this, uh, your camera in, you're going to have to hit the plus button. See right there. And then it's going to ask you to add a new online device or set up device uh, Wi-Fi connection. So, if this is what you're seeing on your Lionel Wi-Fi camera app, Cam Online, then you did good. If it still says uh, connecting, then uh, you might want to reset the uh, reset button on the caboose, um, restart your phone, uh, clean it up a little bit. If you have a, you know, a lot of apps open. So there's a lot of things that could go uh, wrong that would not allow you to be online, but you can only get into the camera if it says online. All right, so once now that we're online, and I'm saying this because I had a couple of problems getting on myself, even though I used it all day yesterday, problem free. So uh, Wi-Fi is not always 100% perfect. It can be frustrating sometimes. So. Now that it says online, we're going to go ahead and press uh, on that I, uh, online with my thumb here. And uh, now you can hold the phone vertical; it'll it'll change itself. It should. There you go. So 
Uh, right now, I have, and remember, I was telling you guys that you can change the settings, and I'll show you how to do that. But I have mine set up for 720 right now. You can set it up for as high as uh, 1080. And I'm just giving you a, a view of my fan. Now that's coming right off my fan. Now I think the word camera is a little misleading because it acts more like a a web cam instead of a cam camera per se. And what I mean about that is uh, anybody who's ever viewed a, a web cam, the, the video is not smooth. It's a little. It can be a little jumpy sometimes, or it hesitates. So, um, to me, it's more like a, a webcam than it is a camera. Uh, the next thing is, there is no microphone, so it cannot do any kind of recording. So, if you think you're, you can do, a, you know, voice and talk to, talk into it while you're operating it or blow the horn. It's not going to record anything. It's going to be a silent movie sort of deal. Um, also, what other things am I missing here? Um, there are just some of the stuff that I was playing with, but yes, you can record, you can also take pictures, I'll show you how to do all that. Because this is a screen that you see, now it looks like, hey, you know, where's all these features you're talking about? Alright, so once you're through this screen, you're going to tap it again and watch what happens. Tap it with your finger, just tap the screen with your finger. There you go. There's all your settings. Now, if you look up there, there's your 720 setting. Um, let me bring it back up again. There you go. There's your 720 setting. You can actually um, change that setting. Um, down here is, uh, even though it doesn't have, I don't even know why you put that in there, but maybe they're going to change a feature later on or add, you know, have, but you can actually turn the speaker, but it's, once again, in the book, it tells you there's no microphone, so I don't know if they'll come out with an attachment for that later on or not. Here, you can actually take a snapshot of the pic, uh, a picture, and or you can take a movie. So we'll take a, a picture here. All you gotta do is press that icon, and you can see it says snapshot saved, and then um, you can also do a recording, which is right there. That's your recording. So you just press that button. And you can see, uh, recording has started, and as long as that button is red, it is recording. So right now I'm recording this as I'm showing you guys this. Okay. So we're recording this, and it's recording in 720. Uh, you're going to record all the way up into 1080. Um, once you're done, you just simply press that button again. Uh, you have settings up here for your exposure. Uh, you can actually change the uh, mood of the video. Let's say you want to you know, give it some graphics or something like that. But uh, you can change it to black and white. And there we go, we're back again. Uh, these settings here, I believe, are to change the uh, the direction uh, that you're shooting in. As far as how, how it sees everything, it, it just reverses the ca camera, actually. Um, if you have any kind of, uh, if you're doing this on a, uh, a cell phone, it should auto-rotate, rotate, that is. All right, so how do you get into your um, files that show the photos and everything? So we're going to get back out of this. Um, so on your phone, just simply hit the, the back button, which on a, on a uh, Android, it's right here. And then at the bottom, you'll see the words live video, snapshot, record, and alarm. But snapshot, you just simply press on that. And that's the photo I just shot. Um, and here's another one. Here's another one. Here's a a, a photo right here that I shot uh, yesterday because I was playing with it. 
And what's nice about these photos is like, let's say I like that photo right here. And I was like, once again, I was playing with this. You can download that right to Facebook or any other device, device that shares, uh, as long as you have an account, you can actually upload it direct. So you just press this and you'll notice that a screen popped up. You can, uh, so let me show you again. Bring that up and just simply touch it on your phone. Uh, a window pops up. And you can actually uh, delete, or open, or share. So we're going to press share. There's the word share. I'm a little fast for my phone. All right, you can complete action uh, doing one of these things here. You can put it on your Facebook news feed. You can um, put it in a messenger. You can put it in Yahoo Mail. Uh, there's plenty of apps in here that you can actually load directly from uh, the Lionel Wi-Fi app for, for this photo. Um, but at any rate, so you can do the same thing for record. So if you did a recording, you're going to hit record to get gain access to your files. The one that we just did should be up top. As you can see, I've already done four videos. So we're just going to touch the, the top and um, see how I keep touching the screen. So I, I open this file up and that's what comes up. Now to, to, for the controls and stuff, you just simply tap this or touch the screen again. And then I'm going to hit play. So there we are. There's the recording. And my phone will auto-rotate and then it goes to the full screen. So that's what it actually is going to look like once you upload it. Because it's 720. When you get less than 720, it won't be full screen like this. So remember, when you get these Lionel Wi-Fi cabooses, these are... Uh, Set from the factory at 320, so you do have to change the quality. So that's pretty much it. Let's see if I want to upload this. I'm going to hold that. So if you want to upload uh, a certain video, take your finger and leave it on there. Don't take it off right away. Just put your finger on top of the file you want to upload, and a box will pop up like that. Once again, you can hit the word share. And that's everything you can share it to. Oh, look at that. You can even actually th download it directly to YouTube. So, there you go. As long as you have accounts to these uh, sh uh, multimedia or mo uh, social <laughs> media places, you can actually uh, upload it directly. I don't like that YouTube uh, feature myself. But I've already successfully uploaded photos and video right to uh, Facebook, right from the app. So it saves a lot of time if you just want to share something real quick. Uh, do you want to exit now? So well, to get back home, you're going to hit the live video. That's right. So the exit out of the files, you're going to hit live video. And then we're online. And then if you want to go back into it and play with it some more. Now remember, you don't want to... Uh, here's a tip for you. So let's say you want to upload this. You cannot upload this. You cannot upload anything until you go back into your phone and change your setting, your connections back to your home connection because remember what I said as long as you're connected to that caboose you won't be able to get you won't be able to use your phone to access uh, any websites or anything like that you have to return to your uh, home um, internet connection and uh, by doing that you just simply uh, you can either turn the device off and your phone should auto connect back to your original uh, home network, or you can do it manually, like I was doing. Let's say, uh, you know, if I wanted to use this network here, I just press on it and it'll connect and disconnect from the caboose, and then I reconnect.
back to good use and it'll disconnect from our home network. So it can be, unless you have a couple phones or a phone and an a iPad, well, I mean, it, it can be kind of like a uh, pain in the butt. But what I do uh, now uh, as a tip, I just go ahead and shoot all my videos and photos that I want. And then when I'm done, I'll just reconnect to my home network. Because you can't connect to two networks at the same time. It doesn't happen. Um, so we're going to go back into the app here. So we're going to, uh, to get back home or back to the live video. We're going to hit the word live video. See in the corner. Live video. And that takes us back to where we were originally were. Cam online. We're going to hit that again. And now we're back to our live camera. Well, I said uh, I got auto rotate on my phone, so so uh, I hope uh, a lot of those tips help out. Um, because like I said, there was I noticed people complaining about the uh, video quality. These do come through with three twenty as a setting. You gotta change it. I decided on 720, but you can set it for 1080. A lot of people were thinking that the because the camera is small, that you know it would never have high quality video settings, but it does. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and run this uh, at least a lap around, and we'll, we'll watch it here. All right, we're gonna go now. I'm gonna go ahead and push this caboose uh, with the locomotive or with the train. Uh, the problem is, uh, at least with the Lionel locomotives, if I attach the caboose directly to the locomotive, it pushes it off in the 054 curve. So what I've done is I uh, I'm using a flat car as an idler to. Uh, to push the caboose, which you'll see. Alright, so the reason why I'm going to be pushing the caboose is so you guys can get the the whole view of what the caboose can see. And, um, so we'll be taking off here shortly. So we got the clearance. And we'll be watching it through my phone. As you see, um, we're going through the next room, uh, and this gives people a chance to, s to see the different sections that Conahay Rail uh, runs through. Now remember, you guys are viewing this on my camera. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna be going through a dark section. Uh, this is the addition which ended up being in my shop. You're not going to see much in here. And once we get around to the other side, uh, there should be daylight coming through. But the, the lights are not on in the shop. And here we go. We're, we're coming around to the next, uh, into the tunnel here. Alright, we're coming back out the other side.
Now remember, this is being recorded. You're seeing this in 720 on my phone. I mean, the, the video is pretty... I think it's pretty sharp. And I still have another setting to go. I can actually go to 1080. As you can see, it mimics more like a webcam than it does a real camera or camcorder. Now the only reason why you're hearing sounds is because I'm recording all this with my camcorder. Alright, so there you have it in a nutshell. I mean, I think it's a wonderful piece. The video quality I was worried about because I've seen everybody complaining. But I guess most of those people didn't realize, hey, you can change the quality settings just like you can on a regular camcorder. Um, and I showed you how to do that. And I did uh, uh, tell you guys, in my own opinion, it looks like uh, it's... It reacts more like a webcam than it does a camcorder or a camera. Um, but for the most part, it does take, as long as you have your settings on 720 or 1080, it does take pretty nice pictures and video. And the best part is, you can directly upload those to YouTube, to, uh, to Facebook, and I did show you uh, other programs you can do that with as well. Um... So, I'm sure this applies to other Lionel Wi-Fi camera equipped uh, rolling stock as well. So, I hope this video was informative, you enjoyed it, uh, we just went a lap around Conaghy Rail, um, and I'm happily impressed with this. And I say it's two thumbs up and a must have. Alright, we'll catch you guys later, bye.